Do you have any advice for someone that's looking to climb the corporate ladder and one day become the CEO of a very large company? Well, it needs, a, needs some hard work and it needs some resilience. But the thing that I learned many, many years ago, and I didn't quite understand how important this was when I first heard it, and it's the pie model. And some of your, some of your listeners may be familiar with it. I, I have talked about it a few times in the past. It's P-I-E. P is for performance. So whatever you do in your job, whatever your job is, you have to perform it well, okay? That is, there is no doubt about it. You've got to be good at your job and perform well. But you must also think of the I, which is the image. Now, I can remember years ago, not thinking that really mattered. And when I moved to Germany from the US, I remember um, having my new team around me in Germany and they said, Inga, you know, we're German and you mustn't judge us on how we are presenting ourselves, how we come across. And I said, well, okay, that's fair enough. And I will try not to judge you, but just think about all the other people that you're trying to make an impact on. So if you want to move on the up in the ranks of a US business, you're going to have to come across in a way that the US business recognizes as, as, um, as good and you can communicate well. Mm -hmm. So I always said the image matters. You can make an impression instantly. And the reason I actually got, well, one of the reasons I got the job in the US and got offered the job was because one of the big bosses from the US was visiting London. I was talking to him. I didn't really know who he was. I didn't know how senior he was or important he was. I was talking to him at the beginning of this meeting and he remembered that small conversation. And many, many months later, when he was looking to hire someone, he remembered me. And it was just a silly little conversation we had. But, it, but I'd made, somehow I'd made an impression on him. So the eye and the image and, and how you come across is important. And then there's the E, which is the exposure. And don't think exposure means going along just to a networking event and whatever they are these days virtually, but a networking event and, you know, mixing with the same people that you already know well. It, that is not about increasing your exposure or doing good networking. Think strategically about your networking. Whenever you go anywhere, make sure you're meeting new people. Mm -hmm. Get involved in activities and things that are outside of your day job. So just offer yourself up. Don't be siloed. Think broadly. People want to work with you if you're, and they you'll get opportunities in the future to manage if you if they know you've got a broad experience. So volunteer and get involved in things, and just think about that exposure. If you've got an opportunity to present somewhere, go and do it. Step in someone's shoes. Ask your manager, can you give me some opportunities for some exposure, please? Mm -hmm. You know, work on it with your manager. Actually create opportunities to get exposure. Because that, to me, is absolutely critical.